And the materials that you're going to need are a pencil, a compass, and a nice long ruler. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is find the center of my, my paper. And so to do that, like just like we learned in geometry, you're going to line your ruler up to uh, the corners that are located diagonally from each other. And you just want to make a nice light mark in the center. And then do the same thing uh, going the other direction. And where those two lines intersect is where the center of your paper is. Got to love geometry. So that's the center of your paper. Now, I like to encourage uh, my students to kind of clean up as they go. Um, so I kind of have them clean up those extra lines. All you need is that little intersection because that shows you the center of your paper. Okay. So next, um, we talked about how to use a compass. Um, I am going to have them do a four inch circle on this paper that I'm using. You may want to test it out and see, depending on the size of your paper, you're going to have a different um, radius for your circle. Um, and you know what? I'm going to go to four, and I think I'm going to go to four and a half. And on these compasses that I have, there's actually a measurement on both sides. This one's um, in inches and this one's in centimeters. I did have to tell my students to make sure they were on the inches side. A couple of students had it on the centimeters and didn't realize it. So I'm at, I took that little point and lined it up to four and a half. And then I'm just going to check and make sure that's okay and that's fine. Um, and so what I want to do is uh, create the outside circle by keeping the point of the compass in the center, the intersection of those lines in the center of my paper. And then I'm just going to create my circle, making sure that I maintain my point in the center. And I encourage them, they don't have to do it all in one fell swoop. They can either move their paper or the compass and um, and they can kind of change directions as they need to, okay? So there's my main circle. Now what I want to do is I want to divide it into 12. Um, and you can do all of that with a compass and a ruler. So the first thing I do, um, and I do this the easy way, which I have them line kind of their ruler to the flat edge of their paper, make sure that it's kind of flat along that edge, and go right through the center um, to get a nice perpendicular line to the edge of your paper. So you're just going to draw that from one end of your circle to the other. A uh, nice vertical line bisecting your circle into two. Okay. Um, if you want, you can describe this as a clock to them, and that kind of helps them. So we just did 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock. And then what they do is they take the point of their compass, put it at 6 o'clock, and when you put it at 6 o'clock, you get your 8 o'clock line and your 4 o'clock line. Sorry. Okay. And then if you take the point of your compass and put it up at 12 o'clock, swing the compass around, and you're going to get 10 o'clock. Mr. B, would you Sorry, that's call my inner call at Mr. my school. B, call Sorry, I'm at school right now, so that's the intercom. Um, and that's the 2 o'clock line. Okay, so now we have 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and 4 o'clock. Okay, so now there's a complicated way. Um, it's not actually that complicated, but my students really got confused to find the intersection here. Instead of doing that, I really highly recommend just having them do the same thing on the um, horizontal bisection of the circle and just have them line up the edges of their ruler to the edge of the paper and then right through the center of this intersection of the center of your circle, you're going to bisect the circle horizontally. Okay, and now you have four sections. And what you're going to do is take your compass and put the point now at 3 o'clock and kind of use that swoop. You never change the actual measurement on your compass. 
and you get five o'clock. So you got one o'clock and five o'clock from putting the point at three o'clock. And when you put the point at nine o'clock, you're going to get 11 and, sorry, and seven. Get that on there. Okay. Now I have my, I have it all ready to go. Um, and all I have to do is line my ruler up to where those lines intersect. They always, an easy way that, for them to remember which lines to connect is that it should always go through the center of their circle. Encourage them to take their time on this piece and make sure that they're really going right through the center of the circle and they're also using exactly where those two points intersect as a guide to create the structure of their mandala, okay? I kind of turn my paper as I go, just, I, um, I just like using the ruler on the left side and my hand on the right, so. Anyway, now I have it, so it's, it's literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 